Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections here for Thursday, February 11th. For getting today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up picking up a loss in the NBA with the Pacers plus one and a half and minus 110 on DraftKings. Pretty unfortunate as the line closed at Pacers minus one and a half, so we ended up beating a three point line move. But the game really wasn't even close from start to finish. Indiana was trailing the entire game, trailed by about, what was it, 30 at the half, I think. It really wasn't close. Uh, Pacers only scored 94 points against one of the worst defenses in the league following a two day off period. So really just one of the worst showings by a team all season long offensively. And unfortunately we picked up a loss, but we'll be looking for a bounce back play that a winner here on Thursday. And the play that is going to be on a college basketball match between Merrimack and central Connecticut. And the play that is going to be on Merrimack minus two and a half, which is available on DraftKings minus minus one twelve. the time of recording of three forty nine AM Eastern time coverings while like Merrimack in the spot. First of all, there has been a lot of overnight line movement on Merrimack as it has gone from minus two to minus three in most spots. However, you can still get two and a half on DraftKings, so I do think this line will continue to climb. Probably close it around three and a half or four, but I do expect some more Merrimack money to come in uh, throughout the, uh, let's say, the next, I don't know, 20-something hours or so. But looking at uh, this matchup here, uh, Merrimack has been the better team all season long as Merrimack is six and four overall, six and four in conference play, where Central Connecticut is four and ten overall and four and seven in conference play. Now, in addition to having a better overall record, Merrimack has been the better team lately as Merrimack has won five of its last six games or Central Connecticut has lost five of its last seven. So these two teams have been hanging in opposite directions and Merrimack is the more talented team. So I do think that definitely makes sense why money has come into Merrimack so far. Plus looking at some metrics here, Merrimack currently ranks 200th in defense efficiency according to Ken Palm rankings, which does not sound that impressive, but it does in comparison to Central Connecticut who ranks 316th in defense efficiency. So Merrimack's defense, I think, is good enough to limit Central Connecticut's offense, while its offense should be able to have a decent amount of scoring opportunities against Central Connecticut's defense, which has been awful all season long. Plus, both these teams have been awful at rebounding so far this season, but Merrimack does rank a little bit higher in rebounding rate as Merrimack ranks 323rd, whereas Central Connecticut ranks 331st. So I do think Merrimack should be able to dominate defensively. I think they'll win a pretty close battle on the boards I think Merrimack will eventually win this game by about five points. But either way, I think the spread is too low. I think this line will, will continue to climb. Probably close at around three and a half, four and a half, something along those lines. But at two and a half, I do think there is some value on it. So for that reason, the play that I hear for Scott Selections on Thursday, February 11th, is going to be on Merrimack, minus two and a half. It's available on DraftKings and minus 112. That's been a song with Scott Selections. Good luck to all of you and your respective best today. Bye, everyone.